If you have other questions, shout them out. You have, uh, can you say who's doing the track work or who's providing the training? Or For some reason. Sorry. The rumor on the street is that they're G trains. Gerslauer mm -hmm. trains. They're Gerslauer trains. Track work? You know, I don't know the manufacturer. A lot of our folks are working on the track themselves. I know, good question there, because we've got about 12 folks, um, both our folks and general contractors, uh, carpentry guys that have been out there working on the uh, on Son of Beast. And at any given time, we've got about a dozen folks out at Son of Beast and about 25 out on Firehawk. So we've got a lot of contractors out here. Um, with the new trains, uh, and again, you know, by the time we open Cinnamon Beast, we could be like, ah, we're not using these. Uh, but right now, they have a shorter wheelbase. So we're looking at how to modify those trains to fit the track on Cinnamon Beast. Uh, originally, it was going to be the reverse. We were going to have to modify the track. But that just seems plain silly because that's a lot of track. So we're kind of working with those trains now to make sure that they're going to fit and how that's going to kind of change the, the basis of the ride. Come with us. Metal detectors. Staying Metal detector, staying or going? They are staying. Yes, they, I know. There should be giant cheers like for Son of Beast. Come on. <laughs> they are staying for this year, at least. Yeah. Right, right sir. Coke or Pepsi? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 2007 Coke. Yeah! Who's flipping keys? Who's flipping keys? Who's flipping keys? Fall out of his pocket. <laughs> going to be a Vortex 20th anniversary banner? Oh, is there going to be a Vortex 20th anniversary banner? Another thing I have pitched but have not received confirmation on from our team, but I will keep you posted for sure. Yes. There'll still be no smoking areas? I mean, no smoking areas? No. Yes. Yes, there, there will still be no smoking areas. There, right now we're kind of in flux because that's the, the, the thought pattern that we're going with now and I know Cedar Point is going that way also to designated smoking areas. Um, the question is really, because all of Ohio has gone to a smoke-free status, how, how is that, I know, very exciting, uh, how is that going to impact, you know, Kings Island and other open-air arenas? And the question is, I don't think we know the answer to that. Right now, we're moving along as typical. Should, you know, the, the state say, no, you people, you are not allowed to smoke, then obviously we would make that known. Thank you. Yeah, send them outside. Send them outside. Send them outside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you know, it's kind of interesting, and that's kind of my crusade, and no offense if you're smokers, but um, our local zoo has done that very same thing, where, I know, and it's very nice, I know, and not smoking indoors is very nice, being able to come home and, um, you know, put my jacket in the closet is nice, but, you know, who's to say, and, you know, we're respectful of all of our guests now and in the future, but we're looking forward, we're going to go with the designated smoking areas, for now, for now. There you go. It's time. Oh, when we get the Eagles back. <laughs> Everyone's favorite question. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the time will tell, to be honest with you. And I think, heaven help us, Squeaky Wheel, um, our, really my vice president of marketing, who was at the time our general manager, Craig Ross. He's a great guy. Great guy. And he, he was Squeaky Wheel about the Eagles, really, really hoping to keep them and fought really, really hard to keep them here. So um, who knows? I mean, they know that it, it was a very popular ride here. Maybe we'll steal them back from Carol. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should all go and just unplug it for a second. Alrighty. Well then that's it. Thank you guys for coming April 21st.